Okay, in video number eight, we're gonna go over some engine basics, some fuel and oil. So this is a gas-powered engine, and it does take just regular fuel. There is no mix, so you don't have to add any oil. Here you have your cap. Lefty Lucy. And this chain has actually come off. Um, so might want to get this back on here, but you should be able to look in here with this float and see the level of the fuel. Right now we don't see any fuel. The fuel level is quite low. And so we'll want to not run it empty. We'll want to keep some fuel in it. And if you can see there, kind of rock it back and forth. You can see it splashing around a little bit. Uh, but you can see some of the bottom of the fuel tank exposed. So wouldn't go out too far on this because if you run out of fuel or you break down, remember you got to push it all the way back home or have someone tell you. So those are always fun experiences out on the trail. Now, so that's it. I'm not going to go into, you know, engines advanced engine course this is 101 for today but here's a fuel line again you have a, a clamp you want to make sure that this is tight carburation um, but what we're gonna look at next is oil fuel and oil very important essential to the operation here so I don't like this to be honest I don't like how this is kind of set up for one let's go back to the fuel when you have your fuel can, you know, you have this rack in the back. It's difficult to get your nozzle or your your fuel in here. So a lot of times, you know, I'm kind of splashing. So it's good to have um, kind of a long hose to feed through there so that you're not splashing because then this all gets full of fuel and this gets hot. Could potentially be combustible. Um, so do be very careful when you're adding the fuel. I mean, if you have a fuel can that has kind of a, a nose on it or a, a hose that you can reach, that's the best case here. You might have to funnel it. Um, even then it's kind of difficult, but a funnel for fuel, be careful not to use your oil funnel and your fuel funnel. Best to keep those separate. But, um... We go righty tighty to close that. So that's one thing. And then down here, it is uh, pretty difficult to get to. You can see here, we'll zoom in a little bit. That's like the, the dipstick to check your oil level. And you gotta reach in there. And one thing that always happens, as soon as you unscrew it, the oil hits the ground. So we're going to put some shop towels down for the next video and go ahead and check that oil.